What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So, just finished up the live stream reaction, uh, SmackDown live stream reaction uh, with the homie Dub. Appreciate everyone that was involved in the live stream uh, tonight. It was a fantastic show. Had a great time. You guys always make the shows that much better. But we got to get into it because Triple H, boy, oh boy, has he been cooking this week for WWE? And this show was fucking great so let's get right into the nitty-gritty uh gotta talk about some of the more noticeable things that happened on the show so this show obviously was somewhat revolving around um uh, roman reigns returning back to the show also it was the season premiere of smackdown so we start off the show with uh john cena coming to the ring whatever he's hyping up the crowd crowd is lit you know it's the season premiere like what better way to start off the show uh, you know, the season premiere of SmackDown, and all of a sudden, Roman Reigns music hit, and boy, things uh started to kick up or whatnot. So Roman comes out there, whatever. It's been a while since we've heard it, but of course, you know, he was he he was just drinking it all in, just and you know, enjoying you know the 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 reaction that he's getting you know you see a lot of people throwing the ones up you hear a lot of cheers you hear a lot of boos you know he's getting some type of reaction and what i liked is michael cole even announced on commentary a lot of you guys picked up for weeks paul Heyman's had the gray hair he had the gray hair going he it seemed like he was stressed without roman reigns you know being around but when roman reigns appeared my boy had the uh, Just For Men uh, starter pack ready to go because, boy, his hair was slick. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't gray no more. Had the black hair going or brown, whatever it is. It was no gray. My boy dyed his hair when Roman came back. And I like Michael Cole mentioning, you know, Paul Heyman's looking a little bit fresh. Look like he's got some sleep. He's not as stressed. Jimmy's not stressing him out as much, you know. He got Roman Reigns there. And Jimmy wasn't out there with them when they came down to the ramp. It was just Solo, Roman, and Paul Heyman. And Paul Heyman didn't have the two championships. It was just the WWE Unspeeding Universal Championship, the gold one, the gold and black one. That was it. So Roman comes out there. He gets the microphone from uh, uh, from Paul Heyman or whatnot. And Paul Heyman's just happy to finally give him the microphone. And uh, he hits the, yo, what's What's going down, John boy? What's going down, Mr. Hollywood? Like, you know, just like, what, what's up, man? Like, you can't start the show, the season premiere of my show without me being out here. Like, what's going on here? Like, I, I, I don't get it. And it, 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 it I, I like how Roman is kind of talking to him. Like, yo, we've been through this, man. Like, you sitting up here, ever since I've been gone, you've made an appearance. You know what I'm saying? And People were chanting John Cena's name, and Roman's like, y'all, y'all chanting the coward. He wasn't here when I was here. He only started showing up when I left. You started calling us, yourself the GOAT when I left, when I'm the GOAT of WWE. And I like, I like those little jabs because John Cena really started showing up when Roman was taking his little vacation so i like the fact he turned that into like oh you you you, you coward you really scary but now you hear hey man look roman we uh, not roman look john john boy we've been here down before you know how this ends you know how this go we 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 you better get out of here get out of my ring better leave before we make you leave like last time in reference of Roman beating him and sending him packing right back to Hollywood. And John, he pulled a swerve. He pulled a swerve because the rumors were that Roman and John Cena are supposed to be having some type of match at Crown Jewel this year. But he pulled a swerve on us. They were setting up like that's what's going to happen. But he's like, listen, I'm not here to fight. I'm not here for none of that. In fact, I'm here to acknowledge you. Well, uh, what you got around your waist, I believe over 1,300 days as champion, that'll, that'll never be done again. You are one of the greats. He was he was big up Roman Reigns, and I didn't earn an opportunity to face you for those anyway. But I do know someone that has earned an opportunity, and the only person I can instantly think of was L.A. Knight 
yeah, an LA night music hit. Crowd goes crazy. Crowd goes crazy. Everyone's chanting his name. Roman's looking around like, like what? Like what? Like I've been going that long. Like who is this? He basically looking at LA night like he's a JIG. I love it. Just another guy. Just who is this nigga? I've I've been going that long. Like. Damn, okay, all right, I guess, or whatever. So, LA Knight comes out there, crowd, oh, just losing their stuff, huge pop, and now things are starting to pick up. He talks to, you know, he talks to, to Roman or whatnot, and like, oh, yeah, you, you, the, you, the, you, you're Roman Reigns, man, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're the guy that everyone talks about. Well, let me introduce myself to you, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, if you don't know, you know, everybody, you know, knows who I am, and hit the LA night, yeah, crowd goes crazy, Romans no selling, you're like, nigga, I don't, you're like, well, I don't, I don't give a damn, like, I don't, I don't I'm, I'm not, I'm not worried about you, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm not worried about what's going on here, so, LA night, pretty much is saying, you know what, you standing in my way, you know, you're, you're, you're a person, I gotta go through or whatnot and basically letting it be known like hey uh if i got however i need to get to the top if it means going through you to get to the top then i will i like that roman was like all right okay all right i i leave now and now they finally know your name cool that's awesome but what makes you think you're even you know worthy enough to even be in my ring like what are you doing in my ring and LA Knight took the glasses off and let him know he's like look hey you better calm down how you talking to me or we gonna be talking about you in the past tense and I like that line I was like we're gonna be talking about you as something that had happened like in the past tense I'm gonna go through you he also mentioned like I'm the fastest rising star in Smackdown history that's why I deserve to be in this ring the ring that you say you own, that's why I deserve to be here or whatnot. So things are starting to get tense, heated up. Obviously, you knew there was some going to be some shenanigans. Jimmy Uso comes out of nowhere, hits LA Knight from behind, starts attacking him. Roman's not happy about it. Roman's more like confused and annoyed like the hell's going on here. So they're having their little scuffle, brouhaha, as you would say. LA Knight gets the best of them, gets them out of the ring. John Cena wants to help, but Solo's kind of running defense. And then LA Knight's not talking on the mic, but he gets right back in Roman's face. Solo starts to get closer to him. John Cena's just in the back watching like a fan at this point. And he, you can hear him clearly say, even without the mic, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. I'll fight him. I don't give a damn. Like, I'll fight all of y'all. It's whatever. I love that about him. Very aggressive talk from LA Knight. Like, oh, my hands are rated E for everybody. Love it. So they get out the ring or whatnot. Then he tells Solo to handle it. So Solo comes back or whatnot to the ring. And LA Knight's like, yo, I'm right here. What's up? What's up? Let's, let's go. And then Solo's pretty much like, yeah, let's, let's, you and me tonight, let's have a match one on one. He was like, I bet. He picked up the mic. He was like, for those who don't speak, uh, I think he said, for those who don't speak idiot <laughs> or whatever, those who don't speak dummy or whatnot, he said he wants to have a, a one on one match with me tonight. That's fine. I'll stomp him out if I have to. Oh, man. Such a great promo. I'm just paraphrasing, but go check it out. It's a fantastic segment. Great way to start off the show. Crowd was lit and hype. Look, and I was looking forward to seeing what they were going to do for the main event of the show, Solo versus LA Knight. So we could come back from, uh, I believe, a commercial break. There's another segment. Roman's in the back, chilling or whatnot. And he has this concerned face. So Jimmy's on the couch or whatnot, just all hyped up or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? He just Jimmy being just annoying now, just, just being kind of weird or whatever. And Roman's like, yo, what are you doing? Like, what, 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 what's gotten into you? What are you doing? And he's like, 
Man, I'm I'm trying to be like you. Who's I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to run things out. You're like, you the quarterback. I'm I'm the quarterback too. And Roman's like, what? Well, and then he's Jimmy's like, well, I'm maybe like the quarterback, the second string quarterback, but you know, I'm trying to run plays. You know, I'm trying to trying to take care of things. And Roman's like, yo, look, look, look. You don't have to take care, you don't run plays. I run the plays. What you need to be focusing on is taking care of uh, Jay and Cody. That's what you need to be focusing on. Taking care of them. Your brothers is one to tag titles without you. And he's with Cody. They're here. You need to be focusing on that. So uh, he's like, all right, all right, I got you. And I like Jimmy's like being annoying. And Roman's like, what the fuck? Like, he's just, what are you doing? So that was a, a, a start to things that were going to happen later on in the night. Then we uh, get uh, the announcement from Triple H. Triple H comes out there. Um, he loved, you know, loving the crowd energy. And he has Adam Pierce out there. He basically tells Adam Pierce he's very thankful for what he's done as being the general manager or whatnot. But uh, his service is no longer need on SmackDown. He'll be the GM moving forward on Monday Night Raw. But he has, Triple H has a new GM for SmackDown. And that's when Dominic comes out there, gets a whole bunch of boos. People are booing him like crazy. Dominic wanted to relay his frustrations about um, Jay and Cody having a match, putting on their, their tag team titles on the line uh, against Austin Theory and Grayson Waller when they, you know, they're supposed to have a match against uh, Damian Priest and Finn Balor on Monday Night Raw coming up so he felt like that shouldn't they shouldn't call off the match they should only be having a match with Damian Priest and Finn Balor on Monday Night Raw and obviously they're going with the stick of he's getting booed out of the building no one can hear anything he's saying right so I like what Triple H said Triple H is like yo I used to think they was piping in the noise for the boos but no it's really that loud I, I really can't hear what you said or what not and he was like well you're going to have to address that with the new general manager, which is Nick Aldis. He's the new GM for SmackDown. A lot of y'all were telling me that's Mickey James' uh, husband. So that's pretty awesome. So Nick Aldis, he uh, comes into the ring, shakes Triple H's hand, shakes uh, Adam Pearce's hand, or whatnot. And he, he uh, brings up the uh, situation of when Cody was able to get Jay to come to Monday Night Raw, there had to be a trade from Monday Night Raw to uh, SmackDown. And we were finally going to find out who the trade was coming from Monday Night Raw to SmackDown. And then Cody, uh, not Cody, um, uh, Dominic begins to say something. Of course, he interrupts who's going to be the person that's coming down, uh, going to be on SmackDown going forward. And he interrupts. And the crowd's going, booing them like crazy. And Nick Aldis was like, you know, like, hey, well, if you let me announce it, then we can get to your situation. And Dominic's like, I don't give a damn who it is. They going to get dropped. And all of a sudden, you heard KO's music. And boy, the crowd went crazy. KO had the, uh, the KO shirt, but with the blue letters on it. Because he's on SmackDown. He's walking down to the ring or whatnot. And, of course, Dominic doesn't really <laughs> he has this look on his face like oh boy this is not gonna end well and of course it doesn't dominic hits a beautiful gets hit with a beautiful stunner for his troubles love to see it and end off the segment with ko on smackdown going forward which means ko and Sami Zayn are no longer a thing that's it they have been split up that's a very interesting choice I guess that was going to be their send-off. They lost to Jay and um, Cody Rhodes on Monday Night Raw for the tag team titles, and they decided to split them up. So it's going to be very interesting to see what Sammy does back by himself and what Kevin Owens does by himself. So, But very interesting choice uh, for them to draft Kevin Owens or well, for them to trade for Kevin Owens to be back on SmackDown. So we cut to a screen. Roman watching Kevin Owens on SmackDown, and Roman is confused and pissed. So he's like, yo, so you're telling me Kevin Owens is on SmackDown on my show again? You got Kevin Owens on here. You got Jay 
walking around as the tag team champs with Cody disrespecting our family or whatever. And you got Jimmy over here drinking on my couch, drinking the Tribal Chief's water on my couch. And Jimmy's like, yo, what, yo what's, what's, what's going on, bro? Like, he... And he was like just getting mad, but then he's like, you know what? Let me calm down. But you need to go handle that. You need to go handle that situation because he's disrespecting us teaming up with him or whatnot. It, it, it's, I love the story they can do here. And this was great because Roman, since he's been back, he's just been frustrated. Bus just been irritated at, <laughs> at what's happened. That's what happened when you don't come to your job. Come to work, Roman. We don't have to deal with these problems. <laughs> All right. So the new general manager, manager Nick Aldis, is uh, having a conversation with Charlotte. Basically, Charlotte will get a rematch. Who would have thunk it <laughs> against EO one on one? I don't know if it's going to be next week on SmackDown, but she he did say, I did see what happened to you at Fastlane. That's not that's not what's up. So we're going to give you a rematch with EO one on one for the title women's championship. Cool. What up? As she turns to leave, she meets face to face with Jay Cargill and Triple H right next to her. And uh, basically, they introduce themselves. You know, Charlotte introduced herself and Jade introduced herself. You know, just a little, you know, nice to meet you. Pleasure is mine. Uh, you know, basically, I'll be seeing you type interaction. It's very telling that they already introducing her to charlotte flair it's very very telling they're not doing all these little her being at certain shows for a reason and she finally met someone on the main roster arguably the biggest like <laughs> uh person for wwe the way wwe books her in charlotte flair that she's the she's at the top of the mountain when it comes to title reigns so the fact that that's the first person she's met on screen is very telling and she got Triple H's endorsement. We'll see how that plays out going forward. But it was a pretty cool moment. Crowd definitely popped for that. So, as um, I want to say, the match between uh, uh, the match between um, Jay and Cody versus Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. As that comes to a close, and it was a pretty solid match. I love when they did hit. Uh, I'm, of course, I think they call it the Cody 1D. People in the chat, and I'm pretty sure other people are still calling it the Uzi Cutter. Once they hit that, such a beautiful move. Still, it looks kind of dangerous for Cody to take because it looks like he lands on his neck, head, upper region. But nevertheless, beautiful move. As they're leaving the match, they won. They retain the titles as I expected. Roman's music hit. You see Solo, and you see Jay. I mean, Jimmy. Right on the rampway, looking at him, just right in the middle. You got Jay over there with the titles, and you got Cody. And then you cut back, and you see Roman walk out. And this was a good visual. This was a very good visual. Because visual. you see Roman and Cody lock eyes. And Cody's not saying a single word. Not saying a single word. And Roman is talking, and she's like, what you doing? Like, why you on my fucking show? Like, I love that because, of course, Roman would feel some type of way. Because once again, he's involved himself in that. Well, not even indirectly involved himself in the bloodline. He's involved himself in it. He's he got he's aligned himself with Jay. And now they're both undisputed tag team champs. And they're on Roman's quote unquote show. Oh, that was such a good. Such a, such a good moment. Love that stare down. Makes you wonder, are they, are, are they going to finish the story? We will find out. But that was a nice little moment there. Love that moment. Not much needed to be said there. It was just a good moment. I loved it. So, we get to the main event. LA Knight versus Solo. And uh, Solo was definitely, he had control of the match early on he was definitely proving why he's a dominant threat but as i was hoping they would do i wasn't sure because i figured it was gonna probably end in some disqualification so we really gonna wasn't gonna get some type of uh indefinite winner but they definitely surprised me with the ending so we have jimmy 
getting involved. Jimmy is about to uh, get involved. He's about to attack um, L.A. Knight because L.A. Knight and Solo are both on the ground. Ref's just sitting there like, yo, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, John Cena comes out there, hits Jimmy with the attitude adjustment, gets him the hell up out of here. Then Solo hits uh, hits um, John Cena with the Samoan Spike. Uh, not a good looking Samoan Spike because that did not look good at all. Just from the camera angle, it barely looked like he hit him. And then LA Knight is able to capitalize, hit his uh, blunt force uh, trauma, the BFT, on Solo for the one, two, three pin. It is very rare that Solo Sokoa loses. And he ate a pin here by LA Knight. Crowd going crazy. It was a good way to end the show. I was not expecting Solo to eat the pin. I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to end in like some disqualification of some sorts, but he actually ate the pin there. So they doing a close up on LA Knight celebrating. As soon as LA Knight gets off the turnbuckle from celebrating, love this camera shot. Cut to him getting speared into oblivion by Roman Reigns. That was such a beautiful cut because you didn't know who was in the ring. He ended up getting speared by Roman Reigns and Roman is talking his shit. Roman is gloating. He hit the L A and then he put the ones up. I like that. I, that was a nice little job with the, you know, LA, LA night hits the LA night. Yeah, he hit the L. -L. Ah, love that. And I love when he's talking his trash. You can hear on just from the camera microphones him saying, you just an overnight success. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That was great. Cool way to end off the show. It's going to be very interesting what they do going forward. I know some people are saying it's a little bit too soon for LA Knight to be challenging for the championship. And I am in agreement with that. I do feel like it's a little bit soon, but I don't know. It's it's not. It hasn't been made. It's uh, set in stone, so we don't know if that's going to be the match at Crown Jewel. But it's very interesting to see that they are interacting with each other, and they've been teasing this because he's he's had his choice words from Roman Reigns in the Bloodline for the past couple of weeks. So this is not nothing new, but it's very interesting, and we'll see how things play out going forward. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this SmackDown? I know I did. This was a fun, fun SmackDown. Looking forward to seeing what happens on Monday Night Raw. But I appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 150K, 150K. And I'm still getting the speed of YouTube, Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.